In the world of business, few stories are as inspiring as that of Mike Adenuga. From humble beginnings, he built an empire that is now worth billions of dollars. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at how he did it, the challenges he faced, the risk he took, and more importantly, the lessons he learned along the way. Don't forget to like this video for the algorithm. Born in 1953 in Ibado, Nigeria, Mike Adenuga grew up in a family that valued education and hard work. After completing his secondary education, Mike Adenuga traveled to the United States to study business administration at the Northwestern Oklahoma State University. Thereafter, he went to Pace University in New York where he obtained Master's in Business Administration MBA. While studying in the United States, Mike Adenuga worked as a taxi driver and a security guard to support himself before returning to Nigeria. He is a self-made billionaire who made his first million at the age of 26 selling lace and distributing drinks. Mike Adenuga is a real entrepreneur who constantly searched for available and unexplored opportunities. Upon his return from America after his studies, Mike Adenuga supported his mother's sawmill business and eventually took over the business from her at the age of 26. Over time, opportunity called on him to become a lace dealer and he took advantage of it after a foreign lace manufacturer convinced him on a flight from New York to Nigeria to consider the option of investing in the business of lace material. However, his lace business was only the beginning of his journey. After a while, he decided to go into oil and gas. So, during the General Brian Babagida Military Administration, Mike Adenuga got an oil exploration license. With this license, he was able to produce and market petroleum products. So, he started Corn Oil Producing Limited. Thereafter, the company discovered crude oil in commercial quantity in Ondo State, Nigeria, and explored it in full. In 1990, Corn Oil PLC got an oil drilling license which enabled the company to start the extraction of crude oil and expand its operation to Delta State where it owned some oil blocks. Mike Adenuga also ventured into the banking sector in 1990. He established Equatorial Trust Bank ETB and by 2011, the bank already had over 100 branches all over the country. Unfortunately, after merging with Defcon Bank for consolidation, ETB was distressed, prompting the federal government to bail out the bank and took a large percentage of the share capital. However, Mike Adenuga's fortune took a miraculous turn when he got his second GSM operating license in 2006 after his first license was revoked in 1999. He set up Global Call Limited and built a telecommunication company with a submarine cable linking Nigeria to the United Kingdom. Globe provides both GSM and internet services that are both cheap and reliable. As a telecommunication company, Globacore Limited revolutionized the industry by introducing per second billing. So, other operators had no option but to follow suit, otherwise, they would be left behind. In 2008, Globacore Limited launched its service in the Republic of Benin and continues to expand it to other African countries. As of today, Glo has about 58.3 million subscribers, making it the second largest telecommunication company in Nigeria after MTN Nigeria. According to Forbes, Mike Adenuga has a net worth of $6.1 billion, making him the second richest man in Nigeria after Alin Kodangote. Mike Adenuga's story is a testament to the power of hard work, determination, and a sense of purpose. Whether you are a taxi driver, a student, or a business owner, his story is a proof that with the right mindset, anything is possible. So if you are dreaming of building your own empire, take a page from Mike Adenuga's book and go for it. Who knows, maybe one day, you may become the next Mike Adenuga. 
What do you think about Mike Adenuga's story? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment below. Thank you.